Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt free and are now working towards saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Well, hey you guys, I'm so excited to be hanging out with you in this video. I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing for the fourth and final week of March. And this week we are gonna be cash stuffing a total of $1,870. And I do have some happy mail to open. I'm going to do that at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around because I'm super excited about it. But let's go ahead and dive right into my wallet. So I did already go through and unstuff most of my wallet because I wanted to be able to do that over on Instagram. They don't get to see much of my actual cash stuffing. And so I wanted to unstuff my wallet and explain my process over on Instagram. So definitely head over there if you want to see how I did it this week. Um, it's the same as how I do it over here. But basically I used my budget binder and we are going to be using it in this video. I just need to get to, here we go. I just need to get to the right part, the weekly wallet tracker. So what I did was I went through and wrote down how much I spent and how much I had left over. And then we are going to be stuffing that into the savings challenges in this video towards the end, all of the remaining money. Well, mostly just the money from my, my personal spending, same as always. But I did already scan my receipts into my Fetch Rewards app, which is an app that uh, you scan in your receipts, those receipts turn into points, and then you can redeem those points for gift cards. So I did just redeem an Amazon gift card, and I already know what I'm getting with it. I'm getting some shelves for Liam's bedroom because he literally has nothing. Everything at the old house was like built into the wall. So he needs a few shelves to be able to put his stuff on. And I found some on Amazon that I loved. So I'm going to use the gift card for that, which I'm really excited about. But I just realized I didn't write down my categories um, on this week's weekly wallet tracker. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quick and then I will be right back. Okay. So I just wrote out my categories. I'll write out what I planned as we go. Let me just really quick grab my, oh, this coming to the shop and I'm so excited. They just came in yesterday and I'm just so excited about these. I think they're super cute. Um, it's to basically hold all your cash stuffing things and you can actually fit, I think, four of the Sophies in here. So I'll do a separate video on that, but I love this cute little, oh my gosh, this cute little tag right here. And there's just so many, so many pockets, like pen, pen pockets, like keep my extra teller slips in here. And then on the inside, there's just like so many pockets. And this one has Velcro. Like how stinking cute is that? But we are here to grab my cash planning page. You will be seeing more of this guy. So cute. But yes, with my next launch, that will be included in the next product launch. So this is what I'm going to be looking at off camera. I've got my savings challenges planned and then all of my sinking funds. So let's go ahead and get started. So for groceries, I didn't spend any out of my wallet last week. And so I'm just rolling that over. So we're going to leave that 20 in there. For my personal spending money, we are going to be doing 25 as normal because this, I said as normal, that sounded weird, as usual. I also feel like I say as usual a lot, but this month my husband and I split, like we usually did 50 a week or 200 a month, but this, this month we decided to um, cut that in half. Eating out, I planned 40, so let's do 20 in my wallet. So that'll leave us with 25 total. handwriting is like atrocious. Um, drinks, I did not spend anything out of there, so we're just going to roll that 20 right over. Kids, let's see if we have anything from their miscellaneous envelope that I can put in here. Yes, $10. So we will do that. Okay, so nails. I desperately need a fill. So I might also get a pedicure too. I'm just like in this like weird space where I, I feel like I need to do something for myself. And I'm not really sure I want to commit to getting my hair done. So I'm like, 
My nails is like one of those things that it's like non-negotiable. I just do it. Um, but I feel like I really want to get a pedicure. So I might just put all of my self-care money in that envelope in case I decide to get a pedicure, then I can. Where, does, where did self-care go? There it is. I don't even know how much I have in here. It should be enough. And then I am also stuffing $40 into self-care this week. So this is, oh yeah, this will be more than enough. Definitely. So I'm just going to bring that with. I might spend it all. I might not. What is this? 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140. We shall see. I normally color my hair at home. So nails is like the one thing I sometimes will splurge on. Um, miscellaneous. I did not budget anything for miscellaneous. So I'm hoping I have, oh good, I do, a five. I stopped at Starbucks this morning. It's kind of my routine after I get my cash from the bank. I stop at Starbucks, get myself a little treat. And then I left them a $5 tip out of this envelope when I was there. And then miscellaneous has five. So just dropped my lid for my pen. Perfect. So then let's add these up here. So this is way more cash than I usually carry, but that's only because I'm getting my nails done. Oh. $140, 45 50 Yeah, $250 is way more than I normally carry in my wallet, but... I'm either going today or tomorrow, so... So good. All right, so that is it for my wallet. And I'm gonna set this aside as well. All right, and then we are gonna get going with high priority sinking funds. And I am gonna be adding a new binder during this cash stuffing because I want to reorganize my envelopes a little bit. And I also secretly really wanna use the Steely binder, so. Okay, groceries, we are adding 25. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. Clothing, we are adding 20 this week. I just did my cash on stuffing. So 1, 2, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. So 385 in clothing. Beauty is getting a 20. So now we have 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190. Normally I do my cash stuffing and then my unstuffing, but I didn't this time. So household is getting 40. So there's a couple of my categories I could not uh, take out quite yet or like mark off. So we'll just do it next time we do an unstuffing. Pet care is getting 40. These are nice 20s. Let's save those for... All right, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Vehicle maintenance is getting skipped, I believe. So we have $1,100 in that one. Seasonal lawn care is getting 15. So we have 500 set aside, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. So these are going to be available in my shop very soon. Um, the, let me show you. These custom placeholders right here, those will be available in my shop very soon. I have not seen anyone else have those. So I'm excited to offer those to you guys in, in case you want to use the same system that I do. Medical is getting 50. I still don't know when custom envelopes are coming back. 1,500, 556, 1,650 in medical. And the reason for that is, oh shoot, I don't think, yeah, I'm not stuffing co-pays. I just, um, I don't think I can handle it right now to be completely honest with you. Health is getting 20. So 
20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Just with every all the other demands of like owning a small business, I like custom envelopes are just very time consuming. And at this point in time, I'm just not willing to add that extra stress into my life of like that like rushed feeling to get them out quickly. So I, I don't know what, what's going to happen with that quite yet, but the like placeholders and trackers, like these take a fourth of the time to make that a cash, cash envelope does. Cash envelopes are very intricate and um, there's a lot of steps to make a cash envelope, whereas these are much more simple. So placeholders and then the custom placeholders will be restocked very soon, as well as the monthly savings challenge trackers. And I'll show you guys those here in a little bit. I did show them last week and you guys really liked the idea, but I'll show them again this week in case you missed that video. But so tax prep now has 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 400, so 1,400, 50, 5, 50, 6, 50. So 1,650. I don't know how much you're going to owe our CPA. So I've just been cashed up on this one like crazy. Memberships is getting skipped this week. So yes, there are a few envelopes we're going to take out of this one. The new binder I'm starting is a, my home binder. So anything that has to do with like taking care of our home specifically. So household is coming out and then seasonal lawn care is coming out. I secretly want to add the Steely into my setup, like the Steely Sophie. I'll show you this one because I think it's so pretty it's like a dark gray but also my husband has a really hard time remembering which envelopes are in which binders so I think if I'm just like the gray one is our home binder that will help him a lot so next is low priority and it's also helped him a lot that I have these like dashboards on here <laughs> so okay eating out I budgeted 40 I already put 20 in my wallet so we'll put the other 20 in here since like I said Chris and I share these envelopes drinks is getting 40 so now we have 60 total I already stuffed my spending money in my wallet but we'll stuff Chris's in his envelope so now he has 20 40 45 50 Self-care, we already took care of that. Date night, I am stuffing. We need to start building this one back up a little bit so we can go on a date. Family fun, we are skipping home. I know we are putting into, so home and organizing actually both. Are they getting stuffed? No. So these are both going into the new binder. Gifts getting a 20 so now we have 65 freeze dryer we're not stuffing but this one is going into the home binder as well as renovations which we are not stuffing hockey rink is getting skipped travel is getting skipped miscellaneous is getting skipped and then there are a few back here that we are going to be putting into the home. So like pool, garden, and I think that's it. So a few of these are gonna go into high priority. So chickens and then fresh beef and pork, we do buy our meat from local farmers. I'm trying to decide is canning high priority. Mm. I think for right now, I'm just going to leave it in this one. I mean, it's very important to me, but I don't know. Well, I'm going to leave it in here for right now. Okay, so these are going to go back into high priority. Not back in there. They weren't in there before, but they're going to go into high priority. Um, so I'm going to do beef and pork behind groceries because it's essentially the same thing. We just got half a cow and half a pig, so we'll be good for quite a while. I just want to start saving up for it. So, and then chickens is going to go after pet care. So, this one could technically be called dogs, but because we just have dogs and chickens right now. All right, next is the kids binder. So, we're going to start with kids clothing, which is getting a 10. 
So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 200 in kids' clothing. School expenses is getting a 10. So we have 40 in there now. Back to school is getting 20. Some of these 20s are not good. I almost said 10. 100. 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 40, 50, 60. $560 and back to school. So I can do a placeholder with that one. Uh, birthday parties is getting skipped. Hockey is getting skipped. Gymnastics is getting 10. And I think we officially have enough to pay back this last session. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, right? 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. Yep. It was 190. Well, it was 180 something, but I rounded up. All right. So then each of the kids gets a five. So Liam now has 100. Oh my gosh. 10, 15, 20, 25, $30 in his envelope. Jeez, Eli, just rolling in the dough here. Eli has, after getting his five, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Rowan also gets five. So now she has 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, $45. And then Bristol gets 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And for anyone who doesn't know my kiddos, like if you're new to the channel, so Liam's our nine-year-old. He loves hockey and being outside and farming, and he has his own lawn care business. Eli is our seven-year-old, and he loves penguins. Like he's obsessed with penguins. He loves to swim, and he loves anything that has a beginning and an end. So like puzzles, or sorting, things like that. Rowan is our five-year-old. If you've ever seen the movie Trolls, she is poppy. Like, she's always happy, loves everyone. Everything is sunshine, rainbows, sparkles. And the girl is so creative and one of the most amazing artists I've ever seen in my life. And then Bristol is our two-year-old and she is just a ray of sunshine. Um, very opinionated and just so incredibly smart. Like, she understands complex instructions and she's just so fun to be around. So those are our four kiddos. Um, Kids Miscellaneous is getting a 10. And they absolutely love our little chickens. They're, they're so good. These kids belong on a farm. And I always knew that about them. But they just are loving it here. All right. And then last but not least for sinking funds, we've got our holiday sinking funds. So we are skipping valentine's day and easter and we're going to stuff mother's day we're doing it 20. so we have 100 150 170 190 210 230 240 250 wait no i counted that wrong 150 170 190 210 220 230 240 there we go father's day is getting so we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 120. Fourth of July is getting a 10. So now we have 100, 150, 160, 170, 175. Halloween is getting skipped. Thanksgiving is getting skipped. Black Friday is getting 15. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So 140 in Black Friday. The goal is 500 by then. So Christmas is getting 50 as usual. 
So we have $500 set aside, 51, 52, 50, 70, 80, 280, 780 total. New Year's Eve is getting skipped. Seasons is getting skipped. And then seasonal decor is getting five because I'm doing a cash condensing next and you'll see. All right, one, two, 300, 354, 20, 40, 45, 50. So now it's a nice round number. All right, and then this is the last one that I'm gonna be putting in our new home binder. I'd have to change the font because that one's cursive. All right, so let's get these put in there. All right, so seasonal decor. It kind of worked out because I took these out in order, so I'm going to put them in the order this way of kind of importance. Um, this way when I go to plan my cash stuffing for next month, I'll have everything ready to go. Perfect. So now we have a home binder that's just everything specifically for our house. All right, now we're going to transition into our savings challenges. And so, like I said, I did my unstuffing for my wallet on Instagram, for Instagram. So this is what I pulled out of my wallet. So this is what we're going to be stuffing into these challenges here. And we're gonna count everything next week because it will be the first week of April, which sounds wild. Get an update on the savings challenges. All right. And then for the $5 savings challenge, we're adding one five. I mentioned this in my unstuffing video. I'm not sure if that will post before or after this video, but I think I am gonna add these clear envelopes to my shop for the people who want them because I have had a lot of requests to just add them. Um, they are quite a bit different than the other ones, like just like the feel of them, but they do look really sharp. So I can see why people wanna get their hands on them. So 110 is what we're adding. And then no 20s this week, but that's okay. We're doing really good with the $20 savings challenge so far. Okay. So I told you I would show you what I was talking about as far as like the monthly challenge, savings challenge trackers go. This keeps coming out of here. Okay, so like the, this is the envelope version. And like I said, these take a lot more time to make than the trackers, but these look very similar. So these are... These are envelopes that I have manufactured. They're excellent quality. I absolutely love them. But these are the trackers, and these take about a fourth of the time to make, but they're the exact same design. So let me just pull this out of here. So literally exactly the same. And so when they're in the envelope... They look very similar. So you still get that nice clean look, but I do believe I'll be able to keep these in stock way better than I would ever be able to keep the, the envelopes in stock. So I'm gonna personally start using this next month because this will be one of my next savings challenges, but I am looking to add a couple more savings challenges as well. So let's hop over to the last week of March and we are stuffing 250. 
challenge was actually really, really fun. Like I'm, at, I'm really enjoying this savings challenge because it's just like, remember when I started it, it felt like it was going to take forever, but like we're already done with the first three months. Like the first quarter is already finished. So, and then at the end of the year, we'll have 10K saved. So the other savings challenge that I'm doing that's like this is the 5K. So I'm very excited to start that. All right. So the last thing that we are going to do here is my one month ahead and we are going to be wrapping it up today, which is crazy. I cannot believe that we're already like to the point where we'll be done with our one month ahead. Granted, I started this challenge when we were still at the old house before we even like considered buying a new house. So our expenses are a bit different here, but I'm just happy to have saved what we have saved so far. We are only stuffing two categories. Daycare is the first category. And we are stuffing $400 into this one. So one, two, three, four. So like daycare and then the other one that I'm stuffing is the tuition for the kids. Like those are two expenses that obviously did not change, but there you go. One month ahead with daycare and then miscellaneous. And I know it's miscellaneous is our tuition one. And I know I've said this a million times, but it's crazy how much money is freed up in your budget when you don't have any debt payments. So tuition is going to get 480. What the heck? Is it even a cash stuffing if I don't mess up somehow? Oh, I, did I forget to stuff chickens? I think I did. Let me look, hang on. Yes, I forgot to stuff chickens. That This money left over needs to go in the chickens envelope, which we'll do right after this. But 480 is what we are stuffing into tuition to be officially one month ahead. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't believe that we actually are one month ahead. This is like something that like we used to dream about having this much money saved up because we are not natural savers. And so for us to have been able to just save up this money and have fun doing it is such a game changer. And it's truly just changed my outlook on saving. And I don't know, I just used to not think it was very fun. And now I think it's fun, especially when it starts to accumulate and you see that number grow, like it's just so fun. So we will count all of this up next week. I am about to film a cash condensing, so it's gonna be a lot of placeholders that we're counting. It's not gonna take us very long, but I do wanna get that money put in the bank because it is quite a bit. I don't want it just like sitting in here. So I'm gonna film my cash condensing next and we'll take this money to the bank probably today or tomorrow. But let's grab our high priority binder one more time and we are gonna go ahead and stuff chickens since I completely spaced doing that before. And they are getting $60. And I, I'm so mad at myself for filming my unstuffing first because I meant to film my cash stuffing first so that some of the money that I planned, I knew I was gonna be pulling out, but it's okay. We'll just do it for next time before you guys go I do have some happy mail to open so I did get two letters in the mail um and I'm so excited to open these so this one you guys recognize this is from Erin and she has sent us many 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 things in the mail all of them have been super fun to open she did send me the sweetest housewarming gift and I opened it for my vlog so make sure you guys check out my vlog I don't know exactly when that piece like that like segment will be added into the vlog but let's go ahead and start with Erin's letter here I'm so excited because everything she sends me just I don't know brings me so much joy so I am sure you guys recognized her stamp she's got this cute stamp on literally everything that she sends and she's the queen of stickers and always sends like the sweetest stickers they are so cute so let's look at them all cute it's like a like a latte love that <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh, Erin, you have the best sense of humor ever. Oh, can you know it? Oh my gosh, they're all like coffee stickers. It's so cute. And I see. Drinking a coffee. A book stack with coffee. Easy like Sunday coffee. <laughs> best day starts with best coffee. 100%. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. I'm sorry, you guys. Don't mind my horrendous fingernails. They're so bad. Coffee is a huge hug in a mug. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Thank you so much, Erin. And your adorable paper clips. Emily, I cannot tell you how much I love the new dashboards I ordered. Oh, those along with the blank tabbed envelopes have been amazing. I created my own labels for them using chalkboard stickers and they look great. Oh my gosh, send me a picture. Um, I deleted my Instagram account, so now I'm only, I only get my Emily fix through YouTube. It 100% brightens my day when a new video shows up, even when you have to use math skills out loud. <laughs> I work in the accounting world and basic math skills evade me all the time. Gotta love spreadsheets and formulas for all that. Yes, and the calculators on our cell phones. I will be rooting for that look for Liam. <laughs> I know you can do it. As always, here are some stickers. Until the next Happy Meal, I hope you have a great day. Love you and all you do for all of us who have discovered the aesthetic dollar. Love, Erin. Oh, Erin, thank you so much. And you guys, I hope you know this. I save every single letter and card that you send me in the mail. I have a drawer at the shop and I keep all of them in there. And whenever there's something that's bringing me down, I just open up that drawer and pull out your letters and read them. It just like brings me back to reality and reminds me exactly why I do what I do. So thank you guys so much. And just for taking the time to like send me letters and cards, like I cannot tell you what it does for my soul. Thank you so much, Erin. I absolutely love the friendship that we have and like what has blossomed. And I just really value our friendship. So thank you, Erin. Okay, so the second card comes from someone in Minnesota, and I'm really excited to open it. Her address is on the other side, so I don't... Look at me being all sneaky. So I'm not exactly sure who this is from. I just know the return address is in Minnesota. <gasps> it's somebody who knows I like gnomes. That is so cute. Did you make this card? <gasps> it seems like it's like maybe made with a cricket or something. You guys see that? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Stop it. Okay, this is how you know someone's from Minnesota. Because caribou. Oh my gosh. And there's a caribou right by my house. And I actually get caribou more often than Starbucks because it's close to my house. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's from Stephanie. Oh my gosh. Stephanie, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this blesses me. You have no idea. Emily, thank you for all the inspiration you give about finance and saving and the hard work you put into your business. Okay, Stephanie, can I just tell you that your handwriting is gorgeous? I love your aesthetic and how you give your products a simple aesthetic. I am not a person who needs flashy products and lots of color. Your products are the perfect aesthetic I need for my financial journey. I also love to support Minnesota small businesses whenever I can do so. Here's a caribou gift card for you and Steph to enjoy a caribou coffee beverage. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And you spelled her name right. She's going to be so excited. I'm going to show her. You guys, anytime you mention Steph in a card, I always give it to her to read. She's going to be, she gets so like giddy when people spell her name right. So it's Stephanie with an F and not a PH. And I think they're both beautiful ways to spell the name. I, I just love the name Stephanie in general. But uh, she's going to be so excited that you spelled her name right. She also does not get mad if you spell it wrong, just so you all know. But she does get really giddy when you spell it right. So thank you so much, Stephanie. I am so excited. Steph will be back at the shop tomorrow. And I'm going to surprise her because her favorite drink from Caribou is just like a vanilla latte. She's pretty basic. So I'm going to surprise her with this and then show her this card. So thank you so much, Stephanie and Erin, for blessing me with this happy mail. And you guys, thank you so much for just hanging out with me in this video. I hope it blessed you in some way. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Have a great week, you guys.